Hello everyone, this is Vintage Rob 89 and today we have the 1983 Kenner Star Wars Return of the Jedi Millennium Falcon. Um, this is an all-time classic Star Wars piece. I've had this vehicle a few times. I've upgraded it mostly uh, due to broken plastic or not having all the original stickers or stickers missing. Uh, so this time around, as we take a look at it, um, yeah, there's only one reproduction sticker on this item. Um, I'm not going to even do the shout out because it's only one, but, um, in the meantime, it's from Zach Paris eBay store, uh, where the one sticker is, and I'll show you it in the video at some point, but everything else, uh, is original here. Um, you got the landing dish that's staying up, the turret gun is original on the top uh and you got these two stickers they're placed wrong they're on the sides here they should be up here but i'm not going to complain uh this is a very hard ship to find in very good condition with all the stickers applied properly and not missing um but let's take a look into it uh, so first off we'll go over the panel here so this is the only sticker that's reproduction. The only sticker. Everything else on here is original. And the tabs aren't broken either. Other thing on it is, is the dish. It stays up. It could go in multiple positions. And uh, inside here, got the interior ship which we'll show soon also wanted to point out it has all the engine stickers present and the landing gear stays up awesome on this uh i'm not gonna fool around with it too much uh since you guys all could get the gist of that in other videos but uh let's take a look at the interior okay so here's the interior of the Millennium Falcon. Um, now, what I did for the training ball and arm, I'm really trying to get in there for you guys and gals. Well, we're going to have to just rotate it a few times. So all these stickers are original. They are placed in the correct areas. Um, and uh, the string and ball, uh, the string is, uh, I bought at the craft store, but I have the original in its bag unused. So I wanted to put on a reproduction one because that string is very hard to come by. I'll take a, another side look at the interior of this. So you've got the gunner chair, um, the wall is in impeccable condition, the landing struts are in awesome condition. Now they do have some stress, it's just age, um, you know, and probably light play wear, which is now common to find. And uh, yeah, this wall though is beautiful, um, nowhere whatsoever. And the coolest part is... Not only do we have the floor, the false floor, but the electronics work. Let's take a look at that. Really cool. And all the landing gears fold well on this. And I'm not going to play around too much with this. Because um, this is on a glass table. So I don't want anything to happen. But um, yeah, that's it on the Falcon. So since we have the original box here. Um, this will probably go, even for that one repro sticker. I'd say around, oh, I could probably get 
300 to 350 um, maybe four um, because it's very hard to find now the only issue with the original box which I did uh, is that the inserts are reproduction so maybe we'll say 350 we can get on this and this is pretty good um, these Sal Falcons are always selling and we even got the cockpit here too which I'll let you take a, a look at it's in really nice shape We'll show the box in part two, but. Yeah, that other thing was an accessory that I got to sell on eBay. It has nothing to do with the Falcon. It's just in the table. So stickers in, are in great condition. You know, there's a wear, but it's expected. But, you know, you're not going to find too many Falcons out there like this in this condition with original parts okay so that is the falcon awesome and in part two we will show this box